DIY dust collector for Makita's 36 volt track saw. Fairly simple, got a 28 ounce. Uh, this has a Powerade bottle and the rubber connector is an inch and a half by inch and a half. I'm sorry, inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter connector. This one was purchased at Lowe's, I believe. And uh, <clears throat> what I did was down in there, it actually has the lid on it, and I drilled out the inside of the lid to the inside of the opening uh, just to provide a, a more firm place for this clamp to clamp down on. And I used a pantyhose, uh, knee high, uh, went over the bottle this way, and under this I took some thin strips of Gorilla Tape and went around the pantyhose under the lip that is naturally under the lid of these bottles. And I did two rungs of the Gorilla Tape under there to cinch it up. And then I pulled the stocking back over it for a second layer and then tied it in a knot down here. So there's actually two layers in here. And you can see where the dust is hitting the holes and on all the flat surfaces on this bottle, I drilled two holes uh, and then around in the lip and then in each of the grooves about three quarters of an inch apart all the way around. And then there's a bunch of holes on the bottom as well. <clears throat> and then this clamp is left a little loose, um, but I loosen it way up and slide this all the way up on there. And my goal is to get it as close to this line here as possible. And then I snug the clamp up to where I could still wiggle it just a little bit in order to be able to get it on and off. And that is enough to where this clamp does not come off uh, on its own. And it's hard to do with a camera in one hand. You can wiggle it and it slides all the way up and it is certainly tight enough to where it's not going to come off. You're not going to knock it off. You actually physically have to pull it pretty hard to, to get it off. And then I just dump the sawdust back out the opening. Um, but I was so pleased with the way my Craig track saw dust collection worked. Um, I was really disappointed when I got the Makita and it didn't come with one. And on the side here, I plan on getting one of the snap-in covers, but for now, I've just got some doubled up Gorilla Tape uh, so it's not sticky covering the hole and then I just covered it up with Gorilla Tape on the outside to stick it on there and essentially uh, this thing is nearly I'd say around 98% dust free. Uh, this piece was just cut and I have not cleared off the table and that is actually from some router stuff that I was doing with another piece. Um, but there are very little, very little amount of dust, sawdust left over here from cutting that. Now granted that's only a nine inch wide piece, um, but you can see that had not been used before at all. And there's a lot of dust in there from it. Uh, so it is almost dust free. <clears throat>